Welcome, in front of me is a Vivo X200 Pro and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this device. So when you boot it up for the first time you will be presented with a similar screen that you can see on my end where you get to select your desired language from the drop down list and then click on start. Next you can choose your location, this has very little impact on everything else so I'm just going to ignore this myself. And then we have uh, agreement and terms, uh, basically terms of service and, and user license agreement, uh, which you can learn about by clicking learn more and then check the box at the bottom and click on next. Now here you will be able to set up your phone by importing applications, contacts and all that stuff from an other Android device or iPhone. Uh, minded that you're going to be using the Google application as I think that's how it works. And this is one of the ways you can import your data, but this is strictly done through Google. We can also skip this if you want to set it up as new. And next we have connect to Wi-Fi. Now, in your case, you might want to connect to network. This will set your date and time automatically and give you also the option to log into your Google account throughout the setup process. But I'm going to select setup offline and also gives me this kind of information right here. I also want to be able to restore uh, the device from a cloud backup, which I don't care. And then this brings us to the next page, which is screen lock. And we have several different ways we have fingerprint, face recognition, and then pin pattern or password. Now the two second options, fingerprint and face recognition, are basically biometrics. So these aren't always 100% reliable. So when you're choosing uh, either one of those or both, you will always be also forced to select a screen like that be pin pattern or password. But if you're planning to use just a uh, pin pattern password, you don't need to select any biometrics. Now in here we can also change uh, from, I think that it was a password to something else. I'm going to be choosing screen lock right here as a this kind of shape one. And next we can proceed further to Google services like location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can turn all of those off, but it's Google. So let's be honest, it's not like these toggles do anything. There is a reason why corpos are in class action lawsuits left and right. And it's not because these toggles do a lot. Next, we have keep uh, the system up to date. Just a basically either update it automatically or give you like a pop up that there is an update or check for it yourself uh, in the settings and then do it yourself as in confirm that you want to install it once you see that there is one. It's completely up to you which option you want to use. Send user and diagnostic data. It's not required, so just don't do it. It's as simple as that. Service recommendations. Uh, TWS services, so we can use the European quick pairing uh, feature to perform whatever. It's up to you if you want to use this. Um, select the system navigation, we have buttons and gestures, and also you have the option to switch the button orientation if you're using this, and under the gestures apparently we don't have any options, which I think there actually might be some options in the settings after you finish up the setup. Anyway, next we're gonna go to the next page. Gives us just an info that we're all set. So let's get started. And uh, that's it. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.